Introducing Blue Box 3.0, the next generation automotive high performance compute development platform. This platform is designed, architected, and built for existing and future workloads of fusion and safe path planning. It also provides enhanced performance that is based on the high performing Layerscape 2 automotive silicon the S32G274 gateway and additional support for accelerator expansion. Blue Box 3.0 provides a true automotive embedded platform featuring end-to-end -end auto grade system on-chip ICs as well as flexible architecture supporting multi-configurations to prototype various L2 plus use cases and system architectures like zonal control. Finally, Safety is always key, providing system-level safety implementation with the device-level safety collaterals to support safety channel implementations. Ultimately, the Blue Box 3.0 provides an increase in the speed of development and the flexibility and ease of prototyping for embedded architecture. It also offers customer protection. Blue Box 3.0 comprises of three key technologies. The LX2160, a high-performance automotive compute processor. The S32G vehicle network processor. SJA1110, a secure automotive Ethernet switch for TSN. There are two chassis variants available. T2 with two PCIe slots with a passive connection and T6 with up to six PCIe slots with active switch. In this demonstration, we will show you the integration of sensor fusion, AI-based perception, safe path planning, and functional safety supervision all on the NXP Blue Box 3.0. Using DSpace simulators and hardware equipment, we have created a hardware-in-the-loop system capable of leveraging physics-accurate simulations to generate photorealistic camera feeds. With the DSpace Environment Sensor Interface, or ESI, hardware, we can feed this camera data to an NXP S32V two-based camera card in the same way we would with physical camera modules, that is, via a MyP CSI interface. The camera data is then fed via PCIe to a CalRay MPPA Massively Parallel Accelerator running a Convolutional Neural Network, or CNN, to perform object detection and classification, which generates a list of detected objects, such as vehicles and pedestrians. Once generated, the detected object list is sent to an NXP Layerscape LX2160 High Performance Multiprocessor to be fused with simulated LiDAR and radar data, which then feeds Embotech's ProDriver planning algorithm. This algorithm determines an optimal ego motion plan in a deterministic and functionally safe manner and feeds that plan forward to the Embotech feedback controller running on the S32G safety processor, which sends actuation commands back to the simulator for real-time control of the simulated ego vehicle to follow the published motion plan. Throughout the simulation loop, the NXP S32G within the Blue Box 3 acts as a safety supervisor, monitoring system voltages and computations to ensure functionally safe operation of the system. Delving further into the system operation, this video shows the front camera perspective from our vehicle, which is fed into the CalRay MPPA accelerator card. Running the YOLO V3 object detection and classification neural network, the system generates bounding boxes and labels for all detected vehicles on a frame-by-frame -frame basis. In a production system, these detections would be smoothed out by a tracking filter, such as Kalman filtering or a generic averaging filter. As an additional caveat, this implementation of the network was pre-trained on real-world images, but performs quite well on our simulated images. All of these different perspectives show how hardware in the loop, or HIL testing, allows development teams to validate different components of their software and cohesively integrate them into the safety of the lab. 
realistic simulation and transmission of sensor data through the system allows for real-world accurate system testing without the high monetary and physical limitations of physical test drives. In the simulated world, dangerous corner cases can be explored repeatedly without negative consequences. Our collaboration shown here provides an autonomous system test bed and development platform for a variety of technologies, including sensor technologies, compute technologies, algorithm development, and system integration, allowing NXP's Tier 1 and OEM customers to accelerate the development and validation of their respective end products. Sensor fusion is the process of aggregating information from various sensor modalities and estimating and tracking the number of objects and tracking their motion over time. Sensor fusion algorithms usually run in a central compute module or in a distributed fashion closer to the sensor hardware or as a combination of the two. The video on the left shows a bird's eye view of a driving scenario in which an Ego vehicle mounted with 10 sensors navigates through a highway. The sensors include a forward-facing long-range radar, front camera, four-corner radar sensors, and four-corner LiDAR sensors. The sensors have overlapping fields of view to enable sufficient redundancy in covering the entire 360-degree space around the Ego vehicle. Multiple sensor modalities complement each other, increasing robustness while enabling the vehicle to perceive its surroundings in varying environmental conditions. The video on the right shows a bird's eye view of the same driving scenario from a sensor's perspective of the scene. This includes objects or other vehicles that are detected as they enter the sensor's field of view. Detections are made available as object lists to the Blue Box 3.0 compute hardware, which is running a high-performance sensor fusion and tracking algorithm. The object detections are noisy due to inherent sensor noise and include false detections or clutter and missing detections resulting from occlusions. The algorithm processes detections from all sensors every 100 milliseconds by performing data association as well as prediction and update of the position and velocity estimates. This allows real-time tracking of the objects that remain in the sensor's field of view. Each tracked object is depicted with an object identifier along with its position history. The information about the tracks is fed to the downstream prediction and planning modules. This demonstration shows a highway autopilot system using sensor fusion, CNN-based perception, and safe path planning. The Ego vehicle here will attempt to maintain a target speed of 120 kilometers per hour while safely navigating various forms of highway traffic. Because many vehicles are below the Ego car's target speed, it will evaluate its surroundings and overtake when it is safe to do so. The vehicle's current lane heading is marked in blue in the diagram on the right, and its perspective plan is marked in red. At this point, several cars are approaching quickly in the left lane at 140 km per hour just as our Ego vehicle needs to overtake. The planning algorithm receives fused camera, LiDAR, and radar data informing it of these fast-moving vehicles, which enables it to abort its overtaking maneuver until it is safe to retry. Our Ego vehicle brakes to maintain distance with the vehicle in front of it, then speeds up and overtakes the vehicle in front once it is safe to do so. In this scenario, our global route plan dictates our vehicle exits the highway, so the planner safely manages the necessary lane changes and highway exit ramp. On the exit ramp, our vehicle slows to keep a safe following distance.
Approaching the roundabout, our vehicle maintains a slower speed, signaling as it exits back towards the main highway. After exiting, it will speed back up to a target speed of about 50 kilometers per hour. Our global route plan dictates that the car should re-enter the highway via an on-ramp. However, we will induce a failure into the motion planner to demonstrate the safety supervisor integrated into the system, which triggers a safe stop plan as the car pulls to the side of the road with hazard signals on. The NXP Blue Box 3.0 meets customer needs for multiple applications by providing increased performance, enabling flexible and easy prototyping, whilst always keeping safety at the forefront.